Welcome to the USMLE Step 1 Study Guide. Today we will be starting genetics. Gene expression modifications involve insertion of genes into the genome or targeted insertion and or deletion of a gene through recombination with the mouse gene. We can do a gene knockout and a gene knock-in. Random insertion is constitutive whereas targeted insertion is conditional. Traditional knockout systems are restricted if the gene involves survival of the embryo or if it is present in multiple types of cells. The Crelock system allows manipulation of genes of a specific subset of cells, such as trying to study a gene where deletion causes death of the embryo. This can be done where Cre recombinase is expressed, which can be inserted by viral vectors or specific promoter sites in transgenic mice. Non-coding RNA molecules target mRNAs to inhibit gene expression by blocking translation. MicroRNAs are naturally produced and allow fraud targeting related mRNAs. Small interfering RNA are derived from exogenous sources such as a virus. They require specific nucleotide pairing and results in cleavage of the original mRNA before translation can occur. Code dominance involves both alleles being expressed as the phenotype. An example here is the AB blood group, which represents both A and B antigens, contrasting it to the B blood group, where the B allele is dominant to the recessive O allele. Organisms with the same genotype, such as the genotype for blue, but expressing varying phenotypes, such as different intensities of blue. This term essentially means that not all people with a mutant genotype will express the mutant phenotype. These two individuals both have the gene mutation involved with ovarian cancer, but only one of them expresses the cancer, whereas the other is phenotypically unchanged. This occurs when one gene is involved with multiple phenotype expressions, such as PKU shows itself with light skin, cognitive disability, and body odor. Anticipation is involved with both severity and time. It can mean increased severity of a disease or earlier onset of a disease, such as Huntington's disease. These individuals develop the disease earlier in the successive generations. Here we have two types of genes tumor suppressors and oncogenes, which are cancer-suppressing and cancer-causing genes, respectively. Loss of heterozygosity involves mutation or deletion of one allele contributed from either parent. In the case of tumor suppressors, one allele can still mask the effect of the mutated allele. However, with oncogenes, one mutation is sufficient enough to cause cancer.